What's up, everybody? It is a Blue Drake, and as you guys know, Unreal Engine 5 has recently been released in an early access state. But a lot of the things that people are creating with all of the new tools and everything that's been coming out of Unreal Engine has been blowing my mind. And while I've been looking into Unreal Engine 5, I happened across a YouTube channel of one of the developers behind Epic Games. Games. His name is Asher Zhu. Maybe you've heard of him, maybe you haven't, but he is creating some amazing things. And if you want to check out his YouTube channel, I'll put a link to that below and you can look at all of the incredible things that he's been creating. But today we're going to be talking about some of the most cutting edge, not just fluidic, but also gaseous and other states of matter being simulated inside of Unreal Engine. This demonstration that he is showing off here is is a 60 frames per second playable fluid simulation using Niagara. And if you don't know what Niagara is, that is the new version of Unreal Engine 4 and 5's particle simulation system. And some of the stuff that people have been achieving with Niagara really rival some of the most cutting edge fluidic simulations from things like NVIDIA PhysX or all sorts of other really, really expensive simulations simulation softwares that have been released before, but this, this is all being made using a completely free tool in Unreal Engine. How amazing is that? And this goes beyond water. So for instance, here is another simulation of dry ice, volumetric clouds falling down a slope, all in complete real time, which is the most incredible part. This is the kind of stuff that prior to now, you would have had to spend a significant amount of money in order to render this with expensive software and not even in real time. But with Unreal Engine and Niagara and some of the things that they've been putting out there, you can now do some of the most cutting edge simulations of all sorts of different volumetric effects, but in really performant ways. And I think that is what is most amazing about this. It isn't like you've never seen simulations like this before, but you haven't seen simulations like this before on a free piece of software doing it in real time. And that is what is incredible. So look at all this other crazy stuff. You've got a swimming pool here and you have a whole bunch of different fluids that are actually filling this up that are being moved around by dynamic static meshes that are that are moving inside of the fluidic space, moving it all around. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that, as you've seen before, my, that, that NVIDIA Flex and NVIDIA PhysX would be capable of, but this is not only doing all of those things, but it is doing it at a, a degree of quality and realism that I don't even think NVIDIA Flex is capable of. NVIDIA Flex was really, really powerful and it was a great plugin for Unreal Engine 4, but this is stuff that's being done natively, natively using native tools within Unreal Engine and Unreal Engine 5, which I think is going to give it a, just a next level degree of performance and flexibility in terms of all of the different things that you're going to be able to do with it. That's what's going to be amazing. Niagara is going to become like this next evolution of not just particle simulation, but also fluidic simulation and really anything else that you can dream of or technically accomplish. So for instance, here is another really cool video of the same artist, Asher, using his tools in order to create a really, really interesting effect in in one of the new levels that was used to demonstrate Unreal Engine 5. I don't know if you actually saw the Unreal Engine 5 demo where it was kind of like that magical science fiction fantasy world, but this is him utilizing Niagara in order to create these volumetric brushes that you can actually paint on the surface of terrain, which can guide these volumetric effects of sand blowing over the rocks, or really anything else, that's the kind of stuff you can do. And I mean, who knows? This is just the beginning. This is just like a simple little visual effect, but you could go so much further with this and it looks absolutely amazing. So 
If you want to check this all out, I've got links down in the description. Go check out Asher Zoo's work. Go check out Unreal Engine 5 and Niagara and all these amazing things. Maybe there'll even be some demos to download soon. And besides that, I'll see you in the next video.